God, you look so sexy. Thank you. I mean, meow. <laughs> meow, meow. The last time we were together, we mm. were um, really just taking an <laughs> unprecedented tour through Mariska Hargitay's house. Amazing house. Which she came on and I was able to finally be transparent about going through her entire home. Every level, the attic to the basement. It's the most special house I've ever, it's like really in one of my top 10 houses of all time. It's a magic house. It is a magic house. Yeah. yeah. And I got to be with you and your wife and we just talked and we had the best time. Yeah. And I love the fact that we've both been doing this our whole lives. And we're still here. And just like that, <laughs> we're still here. Okay. I grew up with this show. I love this show. You guys created one of the most important institutions, the facet of every woman um, at different ages. I, we've all changed roles. We've, we speak to one character at one point. They're all the facets of a woman wrapped up in one, divided into four. Yeah. Is it true that it was almost a difficult choice for you, something you battled with, grappled with, to do and just like that? Well, yes, if you revisit something that was such a big part of your life and so iconic, I mean, it's a big step, but also... It seemed to me we're very different people now. We're very different ages now. We were, we were in our early 30s when we started. We're 55, 56 now. Um, and the world is very different. And it was, you know, I wanted to be sure, and I think we all wanted to be sure, that when we went back, we, we could save a lot of what was great about the original and fix what was maybe not so great, like the fact that it was such an overwhelmingly white show that we would really open, open up the door and invite these new characters in and really do right by them so that we could get great actors and actresses to play them. And Nicole and Karen and Sarita just came on the show. I know, I know. Um, okay, Sada Ramirez, I am freaking out. <laughs> um, is it true that you handpicked them I suggested them because I've been aware of them for so long and such a fan. And, you know, um, Mike Nichols, I worked with Mike Nichols a bunch of times, particularly when I was young. And he cast Sada in Spamalot, for which they won a Tony. Mm -hmm. So I always felt this, you know, I was always watching their career and stuff. I love Che so much. I feel like I know quite a few um, personalities that are very truth saying, uh -huh. uh, very sharp, pointed, funny, matter of fact, kind of calming forces. Do you feel like you know a Che? Do I feel like I know a Che? I mean, yes, I do. The person who is, who often will, you know, become a performer of some kind because every room they're in, they're kind of the superstar in their room because yes. of their charisma and their wisdom and their wit. Which is so appealing and so sexy. Also, when you are saying, I DM'd you and you didn't get back to me, <laughs> and Sada's like, what? I get a lot of DMs, <laughs> calm down, try again, this happens. Or the family blowing up, I'm not doing this. You fix your side of the street. Right. I mean, I think it's we've seen in the past when Miranda gets, you know, is attracted to someone that intimidates her and she tries to get all aloof. And Miranda doesn't know what she wants from this person or what she's allowed to want. But also the important thing to remember is like Che's a celebrity, right? They just had their first Netflix special. So add that on top of everything else, on top of the fact that they're non-binary, on top of the fact that Miranda's married, on top of the fact that... You know, she hasn't had sex with anybody but her husband in a very long time, okay. in decades.